Greetings and salutations. It is I, Mr. Nothing, the museum curator of the weird and the strange and the host who might be a ghost. Welcome back to Around the Weird, a booktube channel where I focus on all manner of strange and unusual literature that I have found in my travels. It is Poetry Thursday again, uh, glorious Poetry Thursday, um, and I thought I would talk about bees. Yes, um, I found an interesting poem by Helen Hunt Jackson, a, um, a poet from the 1800s, uh, who, um, an interesting factoid about her is that uh, she also uh, fought for uh, Native American causes, um, which, you know, given the time, uh, was uh, taking a stand um, despite, you know, the common the common thought being that, you know, Native Americans didn't deserve rights or whatnot. Um, but she, she fought for the, fought for those rights, and that's interesting. Um, so um, I am going to read to you My Bees, an allegory by Helen Hunt Jackson. Uh, here we go. Oh, bees, sweet bees, I said, that nearest field is shining white with fragrant immortelles. Fly swiftly there and drain those honey wells. Then spicy pines the sunny hive to shield, I set and patient for the autumn's yield. Of sweet I waited. When the village bells rang frosty clear, and from their satin cells the chestnuts leaped rejoicing, I unsealed my hive. Alas! No snowy honey there was stored. My wicked bees had borne away their queen and left no trace. That very day, an idle drone who sauntered through the air, I tracked and followed, and he led me where my truant bees and stolen honey lay. Twice faithless bees, they had sought out to eat rank, bitter herbs. The honey was not so sweet. Yep, so that's, um, that's um, My Bees, an allegory by Han Hun Jackson. Uh, I particularly like... Uh, like how how very upset this person is with with their uh, the bees and um, especially the phrase twice faithless bees that's uh, that that really stands out to me <laughs> as like very angry and very like how could you do this to me um, so in terms of analysis this poem is about bees no 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 uh, in terms of analysis uh, it says in the title my bees an allegory so it's it's um, allegoricizing something um, and based on what I've read based on uh, how the poem you could easily attribute this to uh, uh, your children or a lover uh, of some kind who um, who you provide for um, and give everything that they need but in the end they don't uh, they don't deliver. Um, they don't. They don't. They don't go in the direction that you're hoping that they go. Uh, for example, um, like, um, like the narrator in this poem attributes or, or notes that they provided everything they need for the bees to provide sweet honey uh, uh, for the for the narrator. Um, the bees have everything they need, but instead the bees go off somewhere else, and they and they don't do. <laughs> what what you're expecting them to do? I think of it like um, I don't have children, um, but I expect like providing everything you need for your children, and then your uh, your child committing a crime one day, and and like well, you you gave your child everything they needed. Why did they Why did they do this? Um, so that that disappointment that one might feel with with um, with how the ones that you care for are not not um, um, not turning out, uh, turning out what, what you may expect or turning out the way you, you'd hope. But, um, I feel like that even that interpretation of the poem doesn't, doesn't hold enough weight, doesn't, um, uh, it, it doesn't fit so well, uh, especially because the bees are the ones making the honey, not the, not the narrator. The narrator is just taking the fruits of the bees' labor. So, uh, if if you act, like if you really think about it, this poem is about someone who uh, who believes they've earned something that they quite haven't earned, and are disappointed that they're not getting it in in a lot of ways. So, like, 
like, if my friend makes a lot of money and I'm like, oh, well, I helped you get that job, so you, you should give me, like, I don't know, $50, and they, they don't give me $50, and I'm like, well, how dare you? You spend that money on, on bread. <laughs> how dare you? And so, like, maybe maybe that's another interpretation. Uh, um, I'll be the first to admit that, uh, that maybe the allegory here isn't exactly clear to me. Um, if it's clear to you, uh, if you, I'll put it, um, I'll put it, the link to the poem in the description, uh, so that you can go out and find it. Uh, and if you, if you want to let me know what you thought of the poem or your interpretation of it, even, I would, I would be glad to hear it. Um, it's, um, it's certainly an interesting poem and, um, I love the way, uh, the narrator expresses their disappointment uh -huh. with the bees and the situation at large. Uh, so yeah, let me know what you think in the comments. Like, share, subscribe. If uh, yeah, as is you know that's how they usually say it. So uh, yeah, um, that's about it that I have for you right now. Um, I bid you farewell and have fun times in your weird travels.